One of the coolest what if ideas about Pokemon in my opinion is what if Pokemon could have a fourth stage evolution. I've ended up making a series of videos where I've explored this idea with some fourth stage evolutions of my own creation and you guys have really been enjoying it. I really appreciate all your support and with that said, we are here to explore this topic again today. So let's go ahead and give some more Pokemon some fourth stage evolutions. Alright, so we're gonna start things off here with a Pokemon from one of the Japanese Pokemon regions, and while you place your guesses as to who that is, I mean, just look at this adorable little guy. Of course he was gonna end up in the video. My mascot Fulkachi is now available as a super adorable plushie, and every order of him also comes with a limited edition, amazing looking Fulkachi promo card for free. This is the only way you can get this card, and it is a part of the upcoming Histrobi Chronicles TCG, which we are currently working on in the background, and it is going to be amazing. So not only is this a must-have part of the TCG collection, but it also supports awesome projects just like this for the channel when you pick one up. It also supports my Histrobi Chronicles monster catching video game I'm working on, it helps out videos just like this one, and it helps awesome merch like this to happen, featuring even more of my Fakemon and monster designs. So if you enjoyed the channel and want to support all the next level content that's in the works here, and there is some legit stuff being cooked up in the background, I'm just saying, pick up a Fulkachi plush with the link in the description at HistrobiShop.com. Every order comes with the special promo card for free, as I mentioned, and the quality on both is honestly amazing, so they're honestly just super fun and nice to have as well, and it truly helps out the channel a ton. So again, check that out with the link in the description, and thank you guys so much as always for supporting the channel and helping stuff like this to happen. Okay, so the Pokemon we are going to start things off with here is none other than Gengar. Gengar is obviously quite the popular Pokemon, so giving it an evolution is definitely an interesting prospect, and as such, I've decided to go for it. This is Sinistar, and it's what I've imagined for a Gengar evolution concept. Outside of just being Gengar though, there was also another reason why I wanted to cover it in this video that helped to influence its design. In a previous video in this series, I also gave Clefable an evolution, and we all know about the connection between Clefable and Gengar. If you don't though, the gist is that Gengar is basically Clefable's shadow, if you will, since they not only have visual similarities, but Gengar also gets its name from Doppelganger, which basically tells us that it's more than just a coincidence. As such, I wanted to continue this trend and make sure that my Gengar evolution had a resemblance to my Clefable evolution, and it actually worked out pretty well. My Clefable evolution took on a space theme, and more specifically a planet theme due to Clefable's outer space origins, and therefore Sinistar followed suit. The cool thing though is that it looks like my Clefable evolution without just looking like the evolution, because it is also based on a black hole, as a natural counterpoint to the planetary theme of the Clefable Evo. This is where its body shape comes from, as well as its coloration, and it also brings in a new typing, making it a ghost dark type, which only seemed right with it being based on a black hole. Bringing in a new type on an evolution is also just a fun time in general, and speaking of the evolution itself, I would love to hear what you guys think an evolution method could be for a fourth stage Pokemon, and for this one in particular. It would definitely have to be a special method of some kind in my opinion, but I think you could get pretty creative and fun with it, so I would love to hear your ideas in the comments. Lastly, there's also Sinistar's name to address, and it's pretty straightforward as it simply comes from Sinister and Star due to the outer space theme, which I think makes for a solid name. That is just one of the fourth stage evolutions we're covering today though, so let's go ahead and get into the next one, which is an evolution for none other than... Talonflame. I've always really liked Talonflame, and it's always been a well-loved Pokemon, so let's go ahead and see what it could be like with another evolution. 
This is Tornus Scorch, and it's what I imagine a Talonflame evolution could be like. It's still Fire Flying type, I mean, obviously, it's literally on fire, but the main difference here is that it goes from a Falcon slash Hawk to a Phoenix in this evolution. A Phoenix was naturally chosen since it perfectly fits the Firebird theme of Talonflame, and also, as a mythical creature, it kind of has that powerful, legendary aura to it that would be very fitting of a 4th stage evolution Pokémon if they were a real thing. Along with the Phoenix inspiration, though, there's also a really cool evolution method that this Mon could potentially have that I think would be really cool. It would be a bit complicated since it's kind of a three-pronged evolution method, but the idea is that Talonflame could evolve into Tornascorch after leveling up in a battle, fainting, but then the trainer still winning the battle. This would obviously reflect a Phoenix's ability to be reborn from its own ashes, so it would be a good fit on top of it being a cool, unique evolution method. And while it is a bit complicated, as I mentioned before, 4th stage evolutions would have to have some kind of special evolution method anyway, so it would have to be a little more complicated by default. A Pokémon evolving by fainting has also long been something that the fans have discussed and have wanted to see as well, so with a Pokémon like this where the opportunity is there and it would actually make sense to do, I would absolutely go for it, even though I'm not exactly sure Game Freak will ever go for it themselves. Lastly, the name Tornascorch came together quite well as well, as it comes from Torch, Ornus, which is ancient Greek for bird, and is where the word ornithology, the study of birds, comes from, and then finally, Scorch, obviously referring to its fire type. Interestingly though, Talonflame is not the only fire bird that we're looking at today, because we are also going to take a look at Blaziken. If Blaziken were to gain a fourth stage evolution, this is what it might look like. Meet Pyramar. Before we go any further with this awesome design though, I do need to give a shout out to my good friend Alestiva076 who drew the artwork of Pyramar as well as the other designs in this video, and he obviously does great work, so be sure to check him out with the links in the description below. Back to Pyramar though, this one is my favorite one of the video because it turned out amazing in my opinion. The goal here was to have Pyramar be the next step up from Blaziken's Mega Evolution, so that the Mega is kind of like an in-between point, and Pyramar is the true pinnacle for this family of Pokémon. This is reflected in Pyramar's Flames, which are blue compared to Blaziken's Red Flames, and this is due to Blue Flames being hotter than Red Flames. So it doesn't just look really cool, it actually has a tangible purpose, which makes for a great design in my opinion. Pyromar's typing does stay the same, however, evolving from Blaziken, still being firefighting, and this is where its name comes from as well, as Pyromar comes from Pyro, referring to the fire typing, and Mar, which comes from both Martial Arts and Fire Martial, which connects to both of its typings and kind of denotes it as like the peak of this line, since a Fire Martial is essentially the authority on all fire-related things for a community. So I feel like the name turned out great, and then all that's left to address is an evolution method. Again, definitely let me know your ideas on this in the comments, because I'd really love to hear them, but with this being a starter Pokémon, this is a scenario where I could imagine this being more of like a signature feature of a game, more akin to something like Mega Evolution or Terrastalization. Like, imagine that part of the plot of a game is actually discovering these Pokémon for the first time, and that your Pokémon can actually evolve again, and you as the player are discovering new Pokémon for the very first time with these 4th stage evolutions, which your starter Pokémon naturally would have as part of this. I think that would make not only for a great feature for a game, but also for a great plot of an entire game, which would make it all the worth doing, in my opinion. 
What do you think about these fourth stage evolutions though? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments, leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more if you haven't already. If you want to help keep the content coming, you can also further support the channel by checking out my Pokemon remixes on Spotify or wherever you get your music, and you can also check out my Patreon for exclusive perks and benefits, and any support in any of those areas is immensely, immensely appreciated. With that said, I'll be back with another new video very soon, and until then, as always, thank you guys so much for watching this one. I really, really appreciate it, and I will smell you guys later.